things that can make the difference and you find yourself in battle and it's not going the way you want it to and you just can't get out of it. It's like dropping into quicksand. Introductions for these young ladies in the 4x100 meter relay. Under 17. Only the relay finals to come. Including the mixed 4x4. Yeah, this one was scheduled for 6.45 local time. 7.15 now, so they are half an hour behind. Tooks and Caicos Islands will go in lane one. A number of the teams here will use this Carifta to get experience for their young athletes in running the relays. And of course, to blood some of the younger athletes as well. For the first time at these Carifta Games, we have relay action. No qualifying at 4x1. And so we go directly to the finals. We start with the under 17 girls event. Record held by Jamaica 44.95 set in 2018. Here's the lineup. First leg runners take center stage. Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands and Bermuda. The Jamaicans will start in lane number four. They have Malaya Duncan on the opening leg. St. Kitts and Nevis in six with Kimia Phipps starting off for them. There is Duncan, the Jamaican leadoff. Kylie Wallace starting things off for the Bahamas in lane number two. One assumes that Kiesra Thomas is likely to figure heavily for the Bahamas. But of course, the team to beat will be Jamaica. Shira Stout will be the leadoff runner for the British Virgin Islands. The Bohemians expected to have Thomas on the team, also the 400 hurdles silver medalist Darvini Dean the Jamaicans do start favourites though tremendous depth they have Final of the 4x100 for under 17 girls. Turks and Caicos, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands, and Bermuda.
final of the under 17 girls 4 by 100 first for the action of Karifta 2024 Egypt Benjamin the lead off for Grenada Kelandi King for oh, no the Turks and Caicos Islands TCI in one Grenada in five Has had a lot of running Regis at these championships so far. Let's see if she can put her team in a good position from the opening leg. Duncan for Jamaica in four. Wallace for the Bahamas in two. Set. Off they go. Four by 100 final on the 17 girls. Fine start for Trinidad and Tobago. Duncan now responds for the Jamaicans. Duncan hands over first, and it's Jamaica in charge. Down the back straight away they go. The Bahamians responding now. Jamaica and Bahamas. Trinidad and Tobago with work to do. St. Kitts and Nevis going well in lane number six. Natrice East on the third leg for the Jamaicans. Looks superb in 200, qualifying earlier today. Here's the final change. It's Jamaica in front. They are well clear of the rest of the field. For Shannon Lee Blake, is it an anchor? The Bahamas coming forward with Thomas. They will be second. Jamaica with the gold medal. Bahamas silver and Trinidad and Tobago with a bombastic bronze. Jamaica, as expected, living up to their seeding. Coming through with the gold medal. And as we had expected Kiesra Thomas on the anchor for the Bahamas. Produced a good anchor leg, but not quite to the class of the Jamaicans. Trinidad and Tobago coming through to take bronze with Tiana Richardson on the anchor leg. But the Jamaicans with a fabulous team, led off by Malaya Duncan looks like Adora Campbell is on the second leg. Natrice East on third. And Pashana Lee Blake taking them home. The Bohemians with Kezra Thomas coming through to claim silver. And the Trinidad and Tobago capturing the bronze medal. Here's another look at it. Duncan out brilliantly for Jamaica. Bahamas getting a pretty good start as well from Kylie Wallace. Adora Campbell, the 100 under 17 silver medalist, pouring it on for the Jamaicans down the back stretch. And this is where they really opened up the race with the fast Natrice East on the third leg. The Bohemians battling. The Trent Baconians were struggling for a long way in this race. So it's a terrific performance to be able to come through for the bronze medal. St. Kitts and Nevis had a fine performance as well. Final change, Trinidad and Tobago down in about fourth, fifth, but tearing through the field was Tiana Richardson to land them the bronze medal. There was no denying these Jamaicans though, just too strong for the rest. And even with the outstanding Kiesra Thomas on the anchor leg for the Bahamas, they stood no chance. A lot of experience, of course, of uh, battle passing for these uh, Jamaicans. Not all of the islands would have had as much time Running relays, uh, Jamaica 45.36. The Bahamas are 46.28. Trinidad and Tobago 47.49. Your top three with Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands, Bermuda, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. In that order.